In this movie, I'm going to introduce you to crosstab reports. Crosstab reports are essentially grid reports. These are Excelite reports where you define your rows and your columns and the summary fields in the middle. I think no beginner should go without this as it is a very quick and easy way to create reports on the fly, especially ad hoc, in a matter of seconds. There are a few ways to create crosstab reports from existing reports or using the crosstab report wizard, which is how we're going to do it today. Go ahead from Crystal Reports Start Page, click on the Crosstab Report Wizard link. From here it starts off the same, you have to choose your data source. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and connect to our test database and choose Revenue Transaction, Office, and Employee. Go ahead and click Next. From here, go ahead and clear the links. If you noticed, it's linking Revenue Transaction Type Field to the Employee Type Field. Needless to say, there may be different employee types, just like there are different revenue transaction types and they may not match. Always be careful with that auto linking. It can sometimes be misleading. The computer doesn't always know best. Then I'm going to go ahead and arrange our tables a little bit. From the revenue transaction I'm going to click and hold down the mouse button on site and drag it to office num. For the employee table it doesn't have anything I can directly connect to the actual revenue transaction table. For that I have to use the office table. In this case, the manager field from the office table will tie to the employee ID field. Now you can get away with this with absolutely no problem. You haven't seen this before, but this is an intermediary table. While there's no direct relationship between revenue transaction and employee table, there is indirectly through office. Let's go ahead and click next. Now here's where the cross tab differs from a standard report. From here, we have to define our columns, rows, and summary fields. We'll keep this simple. Let's drag first name into the row, and from revenue transaction, let's drag the rev date into the column. And notice if I highlight that, since it's a date field, I get extra options. In this case, let's go ahead and do it for each year. Now the summary field, I'm going to go ahead and pull in revenue amounts. And from here, I can choose any type of sum. But we're going to keep it simple at first for illustrative purposes. You can also add more than one column and more than one row and more than one summary field. But for illustrative purposes, let's hit Next. You can also add a simple chart and you can filter the fields, which is one of the most important things when you're dealing with large sets of data or need to focus down on a specific subset. Let's go ahead and click Next. From here, you get to a special template for crosstabs. It's called Grid Style. Right now, the original is very simple. But you can do a basic blue, a community, a terracotta, a custom, a honey mustard. I'll let you play around with these on your own. For right now, let's stick with original so we can see what this vaunted crosstab does. Click Finish. We can now see a grid displayed on the report field with our names, our employees, and corresponding revenue amounts per year across the top. Now this works a little bit differently. As you can tell, we can scroll over to whatever we see fit. If you were to print it out, it would print out on a second page horizontally. Notice at the very end here as well, we can adjust the size of these grid fields. You can even come down here and do the same. You have a total field. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you have a grand total. Now, I'll have to warn you, these cross-tab grids can grow in size very quickly, but it's nothing that you can't handle. As you can see, it's a quick way where I didn't have to really define too many groups. I just defined rows and columns and what I wanted to see summarized. Another thing about the cross-tab is, when you're laying it out, you can choose virtually any layout you wish. Right-click in the top corner of the cross-tab. Choose cross-tab expert. From here, for example, I can drag first name over to my columns and my rev date over here. I can also choose my group options. We're going to keep them the same though. And press OK. Now my crosstab reorganizes itself with the dates going down and the names going across. I'm also not limited to one of each in anything. What I mean was I can display by more than just first name by columns and revenue transaction date here. For example, I can throw in office. Highlight office name and drag it underneath the revenue transaction table. Then go ahead and drag the revenue route again back into the summarized fields. Highlight it and instead of summarizing it, let's go ahead and choose average. 
and press OK. Press OK and voila! Now I have a multiple tree breakout. I have my names going across and my years going down but I have my offices breaking that year out as well. 